So we have another Amazon returns, maybe new mystery box from the company we purchased from several times now that we haven't been too happy with. This is a toys box. Yes. That was 16 by 16 by 16. Boys ages 4 through 10. $135 shipped. Yep. And story time. Well, I'll put the box down while you do story time. The website used to say brand new toys. When I was purchased, it was brand new toys. But the wife reached out to the company and if you've been following us on here, kind of voiced her dissatisfaction with what we received. I mean, received. I was very, pro no, very professional. very professional, nice. And I just told him, I said, you know, we've we've ordered, we ordered a box from you previously, yep. and it was Sam's, and it was Sam's. really good. We were quite impressed, so we went ahead and ordered a larger order, and we were quite dissatisfied because <clears throat> the items that we received were supposed to be, according to their, their listing on their website, they were supposed to be brand, brand new. new. Um, and if you watch the videos, we received items that were missing. missing like the, tooth, the, the, the toothpaste was supposed, it was like a five or six pack, mm -hmm. and it was missing one of the toothpaste. There was a sweatshirt. That yes, it had new tags on it, it was, but it was completely damaged. It was, um, it, it was like run over by a forklift or something. Yeah. Um, and then we had toys that were they're missing their heads. Yeah. <laughs> we had items in the Sam's Club one that were not. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. weren't Sam's Club items, and it was a specifically mm. a Sam's Sam's Club, Club box. It was only. Um, we had another uh, in another toy box that was all supposed to be brand new factory sealed items, and it was like this little um, red like mystery box globey thing and it was open and it was open and so i i just reached out and said you know your your delivery of your items doesn't match your listing i said you know what i forget exactly what i said but something this about the quality control yeah. might need to be checked on these you know we're we're not all that happy yeah. so I mean, the company did try. They reached out. So they did reach out. They reached out back to um, us. And, and, asked, they, and they still don't know, like, who actually. Yeah, they don't know who we are. No. Um, and so uh, they asked me for a list of the value of the items in the boxes, which I was a little <laughs> frustrated with that because I was like, you as a company need to know what you're sending out and not put all of the work back on to the customer. So I had to create this spreadsheet of everything that was in the box, the condition, <clears throat> what the pricing would be if, you know, sold and all of that kind of stuff. And then they never really responded other than just saying, we'll send you a, a replacement box. Yeah, yeah, she reached back out to me and said, we'll send you a replacement box to kind of make up for your loss of value. And one day it just showed up. Then I'm checking on the website. Long story cut, very, very short. I've been getting upwards of like 13 to 15 calls every single day for the past three weeks of somebody calling for a Steven. No idea who that person is, who they're calling for. One person called during the video, so I handed my phone over to my wife because she used to work in HR, so she has that good HR personality and voice and everything. And so I let her answer the phone and talk to the uh, the scammer live during the video. So sit back and enjoy my wife going to like her old human resources mode when she worked in the corporate world. Uh, hello? 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 Yes. Hello. Am I speaking with Steven? Um, I'm looking for Steven Miller. Who's calling? Yes, this is Mary. Where are you calling from, Mary? Yes, I'm with Debt Relief Group. You're with Debt Relief Group? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm having a really hard time hearing you. There's a lot of chatter in the background, and I'm having a really hard time hearing. Can you hear me get okay now? I mean, I can hear you, but it's just very hard to make out some things. Uh, so, okay, you said you're calling from debt relief? Mm -hmm. Okay, what, um, what is this in regards to? All right, so uh, the reason for the call here is recently we sent you a letter that explains how we can help you pay up your high interest credit cards and personal loans 
with a 0% interest rate program. Did you receive a letter in your mailbox yet? I'm not familiar with that. What? Um, so you said it's debt relief? I'm in front of my computer. What's your, uh, what's your website? I'll check it out. We will give you all the information after this call. All right. Oh so gosh, I'm not sure. I'm here. I'm not uh, sure. I'm real comfortable with giving you information without checking something out. You, I mean, you really have to understand. There's a lot of scam companies out there, and so I just want to make sure whoever I'm speaking with is a legitimate company. What? Uh, so can I just check check out the website real quick? Uh, yes, yeah, ma'am. But then, um, uh, I just want to let you know that this is the right number for Stephen or not. I mean, I don't know a Stephen Miller, so um, I would ask that you place me on your do oh, not call okay. list. All right, I will, ma'am. Sorry for the call. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was caught on camera. That's... Cut back in. Now, what were you we saying in the video? I don't remember. Okay, so we just got a phone call. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's a whole nother story that we can talk about later, but um, so anyways. Oh, we we're talking about the replacement box oh, yes. and she reached back out. Oh, that, that's all I was saying. And she sent just a random mystery box. We have it. We haven't we opened haven't up opened or filmed it. it. And on the website, they did actually update the toys, the general merchandise. They took off the brand new uh -huh. part of the description, but the Sam's Club still says brand new stuff only from Sam's Club. Yeah. So they update some of the website because we voiced our concerns about your descriptions aren't accurate. So at least they did update that. Yeah. This crazy, and, crazy wholesale company. And and so, you know, I, while I'm appreciative of the, you know, replacement box, which is great and everything, mm -hmm. Um, you know, that's not what we were looking for. No. We were just trying to point out that, you know, you guys aren't accurately selling your items. Um, and it just kind of an apology. I mean, we never even got an apology for like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry for our, our you know, mistake, our quality control. We will certainly look into it. Nothing. We got nothing like that. It was just like, well, here's a new here's, box and go away kind of thing. We haven't heard from them the beginning after that. It was never like, you know, we've updated the website. It was just, I just noticed that they updated yeah. stuff that we pointed out. So, I mean, while it was nice <clears throat> that they sent us a replacement box to try to help make up for the items, which we, we haven't opened, so we don't know what's in it. I mean, it was more so like, go away <laughs> that, this, that's go, how it felt because there was never an apology there was never like mm -mm, no customer service in that way no there wasn't um and so it was very much robotic here yeah just i'm gonna send you a box to replace what you didn't get and that's it done yeah so <laughs> Um, we we won't order from this company again. Um, some people have already figured out who it is that we have yeah, ordered from. The last from. video for Sands, people figured out what the company was called. And, Check the comment section. And I'm not necessarily out there to say don't order from them. I'm just saying, you know, this is what we received. Our experience this has not been our, positive. It's right. not been positive. This is our experience. You guys have seen what we have opened up. You, We're telling you what we paid for. We're telling you what the description was. They do not know who we are, so this is not a, um, you know, it's not a loaded box. It's not like, oh, well, these are YouTubers, so we're going to try to get them to promote. Because mm, some YouTubers have done sponsorships have. with this company, and they got really good stuff. I don't yeah. want to... You know, name the YouTubers because they probably have never bought from them since they didn't know. But and that's one of the things that we do try to do is if if a company wants to sponsor our channel and send us product, we traditionally always, I always buy from first. them. On first. like a ghost account where they don't know that yes. it's me or her or whatever. So that way we can see like, okay, as a normal person, non-YouTuber, non what would <laughs> the customer actually get? Yeah. And this is what they're sending us. And so this is real life. You real know? life. This isn't like, oh my gosh, you're pulling out all this expensive stuff and this is amazing. And then you guys order and you're <laughs> you like. You get this crap. Eh. It'd be like, not good. So hopefully this box is good. We have no idea what's in it. It is toys. It's for boys. Boys ages 4 through 10. It's supposed to, 
Well, when, when we bought this, it said brand, brand new, new toys. It did. All brand new. It does not say that any longer. Not anymore. They, they took that, that part off. Um, and what did we pay for this? 135 shipped. Yes. 135 shipped out the door. What's it look like, darling? So it doesn't, so far it doesn't look so bad. Um, all I can see on the top of the box is just I see a, GI a Joe. couple upside down. They're not things. expensive though. Okay, so the first thing, we've got things stuck to things, is this Star it's Wars a Greedo, or yeah, Greedo. Galactic Pals. Greedo. So I guess it's new. I think it's, it's like a backpack thing you're is supposed it? to wear it, I think. Oh yeah, it's like he's in a little like pouch or something. So this looks to be new. Looks to be new. That's Greedo. Let's see. He is still attached. Han shot first, too, by the way. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, they updated the movie and made him shoot first. Uh, Han shot first. Everybody knows that, which is fine. This sells on Amazon new for $4.49. Oh, boy. Looks like it's on, like, it was five fifty seven. Now it's on, like, a limited time deal for four forty nine. So it doesn't even sell for $5. Okay, okay, okay. But it's brand new. It's new. We have a G.I. Joe, and this is Ninja Cool. Ooh, Ninja Cool. Yeah, these are, like, what, five, six bucks in stores. I think they're not very expensive. But it is brand new. It is brand new. We have walkie talkies that are not brand new. They have been opened. You can easily yeah. pull these out. Like we can't sell that as new. No. They did though. Yep. But we don't. But you, you can't, you definitely <laughs> you can't sell that as new. Can't sell that as new. I mean, I'm sure they're they're just fine, but yeah. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of dinosaurs. Obviously. This is a uh, Brontosaurus. I have a Triceratops. Stegosaurus. This says one dollar each. I know. All of them say one dollar each. $1 These are actually each. in the Target bins. Like when you first walk into Target and they have like oh. the cheapy bins, that's where you would find these for one dollar. I mean, when they have them. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> You're always a kid at heart. You can't help it. Hi. What's that say? Hyper Toy Company. Hyper Cyber Spin. Oh, I bet Dustin would like that. Maybe. He might be scared it might out of his scare, mind, might too. It scare me. <laughs> I have a Spider-Man flashlight keychain. I guess you do. Oh, I see. So this is what it does. It has a little button, and it's got a flashlight. So it's new for eight seventy eight on Amazon. And, out the okay, door. so eight, I'm just eight, gonna eight bucks. I'm just gonna point this out. <clears throat> it has been restapled. So this this is opened, and they have restapled the little plastic thing. So it's not new. It's not new. Not new. Oh, here we go again. So That's the same thing. This is the it, thing I was talking about open. earlier, and it's it has been opened. It's been opened, and like so, the surprise inside. That's why, because the people in stores, what they do is they open up in stores, see what's inside, and then and then then they're like. Yeah, I don't want one that. Yep. And they put it back onto the shelves. I mean, this trash. Uh, here. The Batman. This movie was terrible. This is with the Twilight guy. It was a terrible movie. I have a very destroyed Lego box, but it is still sealed. So, it Brand, is. Yeah. Five, five, five bucks. Five bucks, probably. Maybe, if that. A lot of fighter items in this. Oh, we have a it's wallet. Squishy. Is there any money in it? That'd be funny. No. Nope. Negative. No monies. But it is a Super Mario um, wallet, wallet thing. thing. Damage packaging. Oh, here you go, baby. Oh, who we got? I don't know. Lex Luger. Some tape stuck to him. Lex Luger. With the NWO red and black tank top some of these actually go up in value once they stop doing Making these them. yeah this one's a uh i don't see it here i have a hot wheels jurassic world little tiny itty bitty car itty bitty. oh this one's open too now so this is this is what this is what i'm talking about like you say it's new but it's not new this sells this is actually decent. This sells on Amazon. Actually, just take eBay because Amazon is probably just one person trying to sell for that price. So Sonic the Hedgehog, 
I don't know who this WWE one is. WWE oh, it's Lex Sonic. Luger Elite NWO. We have a Glow Racer car. Don't know what that is. Who is Amazon? This I fear it's like a third-party seller this? probably probably selling this on eBay. Realistically, it sells for around twenty bucks. That shipped out the door. So like. 10 plus shipping. Oh. So it's like a $10 toy, which, eh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. We have uh, Melissa and Doug paintable figurines. Some of their stuff can be kind of pricey. And this is for Paw Patrol? And on Amazon, $11. $11. <clears throat> okay. And we're not back to, we're not even back to probably 70 bucks yet. <laughs> this is 135 we paid for this. It's still factory, just yeah. kind of be up a little bit. Speed up. That's probably about a $10 toy. Not very expensive. Boneless, Crazy Flips, Mega Ramp. Super Mario Brothers. That's kind of cool, though. We got Mario, Luigi, and the Princess. Sidewalk chalk. Like little little figurines. It might be that's probably like 10 bucks or so for this. Oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah, it is kind of cool. That's die cast. This is Spider-Man die cast. Hey, yes, it is. Nano meta, metal figs. This will be like 10 bucks plus shipping for, for that. Well, the bark on this thing's covered up. And I have a Ooh, Naruto. Naruto. Naruto somebody. Some of my stuff can be decently probably scanned on Amazon. A lot of people click Naruto. This sells for, looks like 10 plus shipping. <clears throat> so we've got what? Two or three things that are 10 plus shipping. Looking on eBay, one's over 15 plus shipping, 20 plus shipping, 21 plus shipping, 24 ship. So maybe 20 plus shipping. The high 20 plus shipping. Okay. So 20 bucks for this. Okay. Kind of cool though. That's, that's okay. That's kind of so cool. So we're at, we've got like 20, 30, 40, 50. 50. And then dollar items. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Maybe a hundred dollars here. Maybe a hundred. Where are you seeing that? Well, all these one you can count all this stuff, right? No, but like we're at 20, 20 30, 30, 40, 40 50, 50, 60, 70, 80. Oh, okay. Then like 90. Okay. So maybe 90 as high as a hundred. Three more things. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Oh, from, from the movie that flopped in yeah. theaters. Flopped the hard. The Armadillo. Because they replaced Tim Allen with somebody else and made the fans mad. Just And then we also have... Ooh, like five five bucks plus shipping. It's we like have $95. the Zerg Arm Blaster. Buzz Lightyear. Movie flop. And this one... It's like five dollars plus shipping, so they're about a hundred dollars. And then <laughs> this is a school bus. A Playmobil. That's not bad. Playmobil. Their stuff usually sells pretty well. Lots of kids like Playmobil. This one is oh, that's Amazon's forty dollars ship, so twenty twenty five plus shipping. So there's about one twenty one twenty five. Okay. Okay. That's it. We didn't lose too much money. No, that's, I mean, that's like I mean, everything sells for the full price we guesstimate at. Yeah, but it's... But it was a little bit better. Again, disappointing that the items yeah. were not brand I mean, new. Like the walkie-talkies, if those were brand new, they'd probably go for twice as much as what I well, and the, quote them at. The like, Sonic... That, I just gave like a nothing value to Yeah. Because, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like a dollar thing. A dollar. So, I mean, it's like maybe as high as 120 for everything here. Maybe. Maybe. If but we're it lucky. Was, uh, the box is 135 Supposed to be all brand new items. Once again, we had box damage, open box, cut open box. So they did not match the description. When we purchased it, when now purchased it would. It. Yeah. Now it would. But when we purchased it, it did not match the description, which was our argument was you can't say brand new and send damaged and broken and missing packages of stuff. So, But at least they've updated that part That's of positive. it. That's a positive. That's a positive. It's a positive. Um, it's just that this was our experience at the time when we purchased it. Yeah. So that's the only reason why we're kind of like, eee. Eh. I mean, this was better than some of the other boxes that we got. True. This was better. True. But it still is not worth the money whatsoever. Yeah. For when you're buying 
crazy, crazy wholesale liquidation stuff. Yeah. You expect at least at least give the money back because as them being a reseller, you have to put some meat on the bone for the resellers like us to buy. Like, you, you've got to leave some meat. The yeah. problem is they took all the meat plus took the sides and offered no refills. Right. <laughs> That's what they gave us. Yep. So we were hungry and thirsty. I know. Bummer. I know. It's a bummer. Crazy, crazy wholesale. All right. Well, we will try again. I think we have two Sam's Club boxes I left. I thought we were gone. I thought we were I done thought we too. opened up. We found two more. And, yeah. that, and that's, that's it. That's it. And then we have the one I'm sorry oh, box. Oh, sorry. We'll probably do that one last. Yeah. We'll do the other two Sam's over the next few weeks. And then we'll do the final I'm sorry box and see what they sent us to say I'm sorry. Watch this probably like full of like really good oh, stuff. Oh, probably. Like massively good stuff. But... But again, this is what... Our experience. This is our experience, and this is like what, you know... First-hand experience. Yep. 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 So... But this was better, but still would not make me purchase anymore. Correct. Mm. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, we will see you next time.